How did the weekend become financially free? We're going to talk about that in this video. Starting off with a brief background, the weekend born Abel Tesfaye is a Toronto based music artist who has gone on to take over the world. He has seen worldwide success through his high quality music, which has allowed him to venture off into the business world as well. In this video, we will talk about how much he made from music and his investments. Going into music, The Weeknd has released 10 plus projects, including his new album, Dawn FM. Throughout his time in the industry, The Weeknd has seen over 17 billion streams, which has led to over 39 million album sales worldwide. With the sound that he creates, he has been able to reach that worldwide audience who only opens up more opportunities for him. What makes this even more crazy is that The Weeknd has owned his masters since the start of his career, meaning he is raking in all the money for himself and his label XO. It is estimated that The Weeknd has netted over $80 million to himself while he still sets aside millions to grow his label. When The Weeknd tours, it is unbelievable what he makes at each stop. Each location on a tour, he earns an average of $1.1 million. Some tours have 20 plus stops, meaning on average, The Weeknd makes $22 million from each tour he goes on. The numbers with this show the power that he holds to bring people out, which can possibly transfer over to other business ventures. Lastly, when talking about music, we have to go into his label XO. Like I said before, The Weeknd owning his masters has allowed him to fund other business ventures like his label. XO is estimated to be worth over $200 million, with a large portion of that coming from The Weeknd. The label is also home to artists like Nav, Belly, Black Atlas, and a few others. Using the funds in the label, The Weeknd has pretty much invested in these artists' careers to push them forward while making a return. The Weeknd has made hundreds of millions from music and has played it smart with owning his masters, which only allowed him to go into other business ventures and investing, which is what we are here to talk about. When talking about business ventures, The Weeknd joined up with business partners and TD Bank to launch Black House in 2018. House is an ink incubating center to accelerate entrepreneurship ventures in the Toronto area. The program invests into young entrepreneurs to help grow their businesses. It's a win-win situation for both sides with House getting a small ownership percentage in these startups while providing the necessary tools that these companies need to succeed. Black House also provides many learning opportunities through events which allows them to see what new startups are in the works. The Weekend is also a great face and brand for partnerships and companies have recognized that. Like I mentioned earlier, he has the ability to draw in crowds that bring him over millions dollars per tour stop. By recognizing this, companies like Marvel, Puma, and Apple Music have partnered with The Weeknd. Being able to get people to move is a hard trait to come by, and The Weeknd has that trait which allows him to make money just by showing up. Now going into investments, The Weeknd has invested in the eSport umbrella company Overactive Media. Overactive Media has many subcategories of teams based on games which have seen success in the professional gaming world. This investment has been so successful that Overactive Media is publicly traded on the Toronto Venture Exchange stock market. The weekend invested $2 million into the music tech company Songfinch. Songfinch creates customizable songs that fit special moments in people's lives. Each custom song is priced at $200 which most likely brings in a high margin and returns for the company. So far this investment has been running smoothly and it will be interesting to see how the custom song company Songfinch plays out for years to come. The Weeknd has also been interested in real estate. He has bought and flipped properties that would go on to sell for over 10 million dollars plus. He also used the strategy to flip his own houses that he lives in. In 2020 he sold a mansion for over 25 million dollars when the value price was only at 18 million. With him doing this multiple times he has slowly been able to to see a return on investment from real estate. Throughout the investments, we can see the diversification of the types of companies that The Weeknd has chosen to invest in. It would come to no surprise that he would have diverse investments into different securities like stocks, bonds, and now crypto. He knows the value of making money work for him. In summary, The Weeknd believes in himself, which has allowed him to be successful in many different industries. By taking the bet on owning his masters, 
the weekend has profited over 80 million dollars to his personal pocket while being able to grow his record label XO to be worth over 200 million dollars. This allowed him to venture off into entrepreneurship and partnership ventures to grow his reach even more. He also understands the value of diversity and we can see that with his different investments he is a part of. Overall, The Weeknd knows the worth of himself and the value he brings to the table. What can you take away from The Weeknd? The takeaway is to believe in yourself and go after your goals. The Weeknd did this by not risking his masters, which allowed him to make a greater return on his music. He could have sold them for an extra career push by a label, but he chose to give himself that push. Believe in yourself and your goals. This leads me to the question, what is next for The weekend? He just released his Dawn FM album, and I bet he will have more albums in store with us for the future. I also think he will continue to grow his record label as they have proven success tactics. As for his business ventures, I would love to see how Black House grows with the young startups that go into the Accelerator program. I also think we'll see more investments coming from The weekend as he knows the power of diversity. I'm very interested in seeing how the esports company overactive media continues to perform. One thing I would like to see more is him growing his real estate. He dipped his toe into that industry and I believe we will see more of that in the future. Overall, The weekend will continue to see success in every industry he enters and will continue to be financially free. And that is how The weekend became financially free. I hope you found this video informational. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe as well as let me know who I should talk about next. These videos are meant to provide takeaways that you can apply to your life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.